Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. The regulator for the E60 M5 has finally turned up. So I'm gonna get straight into it. We're gonna fit it up and see if we've got charging and we can also then see if the oil cooler is leaking. However, I need to just show you quickly some little differences on them. So have a look at this. So the aftermarket regulator has finally turned up. That is the genuine one from the E60 and this is the Chinese special. <laughs> um, unfortunately, they are looking a bit different. So that one has the locator on that side and this one's locator is on there. I'm gonna fit it up. Uh, the way this seems to work, you have to fit it up and then you remove this cap and they do supply another cap to go over the, the stator. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, let's see if we can get it up in there. Okay, so sorry about the portrait cam, but I'm gonna try and show you what the stator looks like, not the stator, the regulator looks like. And she's all up and fitted there. And although it's a different shape to the original, I think it's gonna work. Whew. All right, let's get the back cover on and start it up. Wish me luck. All right, so that is everything on, as I doubt myself, everything's finger tied at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna lower the car down and try it. And if it's good, we'll tighten everything up. Yeah, I'm not completely confident that's gonna be a fix. So let's wish us luck. All right, guys, I've just reconnected the battery. We're off the ground, everything's still hanging down. Let's see if it starts, see if we get a charging error. Wish me luck. Okay, so the airbag light is fine. Not stressed about that. What was happening, it was taking about, probably about five minutes before the charging error. You know what we can do? We can just put a multimeter on it. Let's put a multimeter on and see what the voltages are doing. Right. I hope you can hear me all right. Um, slightly difficult to do one-handed, but I think we'll get there. Very difficult. There it is. Oh, oh my God. Guys, it's charging, 14 volts. That is so hard to do one-handed, but 14 volts, 14.1. It's working. Excellent. All right, so from this point, I'm gonna let it warm up. We've not let this car get to temperature in a long time. So just gonna let it cycle through, get some heat in it. It's gonna do some relearning. I'll give you an update shortly. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I just thought I'd show you the oil cooler fitting. Now, it looks like, that hose on the left, it looks like there is oil building up in the groove. I'm gonna clean that off now. That could be our leak. Most of the people with leaks, I see them underneath. Underneath is still dry. The O-rings aren't leaking. They look good still. But I'm seeing oil at the top, so I'll wipe that off and we'll check it again in a few minutes. The car's been running for about, probably about five minutes now. Everything seen, actually we'll check the dash. No new warnings on the dash, just the airbag, that's fine. Okay, hopefully you can hear me all right. It's been running for over 10 minutes now. There's no warning lights on the dash. I think we're good. I'm just gonna see what the alternator is actually charging at. See if we can be better at this the second time around. Feeling more in control. We're still just over 14 volts. Again, 13.8. Now that could be because the battery is fully charged. And actually, when I turn the car off, I will check the battery voltage because the whole time this car's been on the hoist, it has been charging. So to my understanding, these should actually turn the alternator off when it gets to a certain level of charge. Anyway, there's one thing left to do. Something we didn't do in the other videos. Oh, actually, before we get to revving it, I've wiped that oil off and it's sort of gone a bit moist again. I think this pipe may be cracked down there, but it's such a small leak, we're just gonna have to monitor it. It could be fine, it could be residue. Maybe it was both the O-rings and the pipe, but there's nothing underneath. Whatever's going on with that oil leak, it's not too bad. It's definitely not too bad. Anyway, this is what you've been waiting for. Let's give it a rev.
guys, that was only revving it to six and a half thousand RPM. How good is it? All right. Well, it appears the alternator is fixed. It was the regulator. Um, hopefully I made it clear, but basically before with this, um, it took about 30 seconds to get a charge light, and that was when you had the battery fully charged. It seems to have run for, that was probably 15 minutes, so it was quite a lot of runtime. Rev's fine, no warning lights on the dash. I think that little Chinese regulator's got us out of trouble, and that was, I think it was 120 Australian. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna take this car to rolls. Um, this whole rolls preparation has gone really badly. Roll racing is tomorrow. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go out. Dave's got problems with the M5. Um, and now we're trying to buy another car. Um, but yeah, as much as I'd love to smash this down at rolls, um, I really want to give this a good run against David's car and run them properly. Um, we need to make sure that oil leak's fine and we need to fix the diff leak. It needs a proper engine oil service and just do things properly instead of rushing to get it down there because it's, it's just worth too much money to risk damaging something. Anyway guys, look, the oil leak seems fine. Uh, I'm going to check the voltage. Actually, we'll do... Uh, yeah, let's do that now. Let's do that now. We'll just check the voltage again because I just want to show you that the battery is overcharged. Blah. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, we'll get it off, I'll put the underneath all back together, we'll get it off the hoist, we'll clean those radiators out properly because they are still caked. And we'll get it back on the hoist and do the thingy. What are we doing wrong here? Minus 12.6 volts. Hmm. Well guys, I think, I think it's fixed. Looks like the oil leak's not too bad. If it is cracked on that top fitting, it's definitely not leaking much at all. Uh, it could just be oil residue. I've tried to clean it as much as I can and there's still a little bit there, but I, I'm guessing it's gonna be fine, I think. I think that is just residue left over. Uh, in regards to the alternator regulator, that cheap Chinese thing, I say cheap, it's about 110 bucks, seems to have got us got us working. Um, we can see now the battery voltage is sitting at 12.7. I'm connected directly to the battery and I will show you what that goes up to when we start the car in a second. Um, but unfortunately this car is not going to go roll racing. Um, after sort of finding a few little problems with David's M5 yesterday, we don't want to risk taking this thing to the track and damaging anything serious. We really need to properly check it over, properly just not rush anything, change the oil. We still need to sort out the diff leak. Um, but I think, I think it's going to be at the next rolls, fingers crossed, and we really want to run this against David's M5 and do a, a proper comparison when they're at this power level. It looks like David's not going to be up in his power as soon as we thought anyway, so it gives us a bit more time with this one to see how we go with it. Um, yeah, look, I'm pretty happy with it. I've still got to put the front of the car together, but I'm going to leave the bumper off and keep trying to clean out these radiators. Again, that's another reason I don't want to rush and take it down. There is so much crap between these radiators, the AC condenser, the power steering cooler. It's just madness. And when I've been cleaning out the other day, it now smells like dead animal. So there's just so much crap in there. And the car's done 120 k So if you've got an E60 M5, make sure you check your radiators aren't clogged. All right, last thing to end the video off. Let's see what happens when we start up. Dave, can you start the car up? So you can see there, it's gone down to 11.7 and it should take a few seconds for the alternator to kick in. And there it is. Alternator's come up to 13.5. Charging away. So these do have a smart charging type of alternator and it seems to be operating as it should. That is brilliant. Success. Guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Tomorrow is roll racing, but there's quite a few videos we've been filming recently. We'll anyway. see you shortly. This is what you've been waiting for. Let's give it a rev. It won't let you rev it with the bonnet open. Give me a second.